Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our September 2022 tarot reading. And this is going to be for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers the highest good of all. At the beginning of the month, I'm going to take a card from the top. Middle of the month, I'm going to take a card from the center. I should have flipped that over there. <laughs> that one wanted to be seen. At the end of the month, I'm going to take a card from the bottom. Okay, and let's see what we have here, Gemini. Well, we start out the month with the full. Looks like you're going to need to take a leap of faith in the beginning of the month. Okay, and you know, every opportunity that we don't take, we're missing out on something. Even if it's something that doesn't work out, you're going to gain wisdom. It's going to make you stronger. It's going to give you more knowledge. So whatever this is, it's going to come from out of the blue. It's going to drop into your lap and you're not even going to see it coming. Don't doubt yourself. Don't think that you're not educated enough or maybe you don't have the finances to do it. Maybe you just don't have the know-how or the skill to do it. Whatever this is, you need to take that leap of faith in the beginning of the month. Uh, because this could be a once in a chance, you know, once in a lifetime type of chance. And that, you know, if you don't take it, it may not come around again. And then in the middle of the month, we have the Queen of Wands. And wow, what a beautiful energy that is. So you could be dealing with someone in the middle of the month um, that is like the Queen of Wands. And I don't consider these cards gender specific. It could be a man or a woman. But this is a very fire energy. Um, you can also be taking on this energy in the middle of the month. And this is perfect for taking on a new opportunity and taking a leap of faith because, you know, the queen of wands, she doesn't hold back. She goes after what she wants. And this is a card of the go-getter, the entrepreneur, someone that is very fiery and passionate and whatever she sets out to do, she does it. She accomplishes it. Um, and if you're dealing with someone like this in the middle of the month, this is someone that could really help you with whatever this opportunity is. Um, in the beginning of the month, or it could just basically be how you're feeling the energy in the middle of the month where you have that, you know, go getter attitude that, you know, you're really excited about whatever this opportunity is and you feel, you know, very energetic and passionate about it. And then at the end of the month, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So, wow, is this perfect? This looks like a month of you pursuing a dream of some kind, Gemini. Because the Eight of Pentacles is someone who is rolling up their sleeves. And they are getting down to business. They're burning the midnight oil. They're focused. They're not going to stop until they achieve whatever this is that they're achieving. Um, you know, the Eight of Pentacles are are things that, you know, we work on very, very hard, okay? Uh, pentacles are things that, you know, become part of our legacy. Um, it's not some trivial little thing that we show interest in and put, you know, a little bit of effort into. No, this is, this is something that's going to last a long time, whatever it is that you're putting your energy into. Some of you may be receiving an apprenticeship, okay, or maybe learning a new skill, Whatever it is, like I said, you're rolling up your sleeve. You're, uh, you know, you're all in. You're going to be working hard. You're going to be using some type of talent that you used. You used to, I'm tongue tied today. You're going to be using some type of talent that you have, you know, to create some type of financial gains. Okay. And maybe it's something that you didn't even realize you had a talent for, or it might've been something you put on the back burner. That you didn't, you know, completely fully develop and now you're going after it. Good for you, Gemini. This is going to be an amazing month. Take that opportunity. Work hard. Have that passion for whatever this is coming your way. Because like I said, this opportunity may be only once in a lifetime. Powerful, powerful reading for you. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up. Claim it by putting a comment down there in the uh, comment box and uh, subscribe uh, and share it because I will be back for more.